Hey guys, JT Shooter Reviews here again with another beautiful shooter review. Uh, got a really, really cool knife to review for you today. I It's another Topps knife, uh, fixed blade. I did a review a couple months back on the Felony Stop Tops. Check it out if you'd like. Uh, that was a fun video. I love that knife. You guys love that video because it's one of my most viewed videos of, of reviews I've done. Over 7,000 uh, views so far. Had a lot of good comments. Even Tops commented on my video. So you guys are awesome. All my fans, subscribers, all you guys out there. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching. And thank you Tops Knives for watching my video. That was pretty cool. Um, if you ever want to send stuff out, uh, shoot me an email. And I'd love to do a review for y'all. <laughs> But uh, other than that, we have the Iraq Jack Joint Aggravation Control Fixed Blade Knife. It's a very, very nice self-defense knife. Or if you like carrying a fixed blade like I do for work, I like to hide mine uh, for the uh, uh, sheriff's farm I work for. I love to have a good fixed blade knife, have it hidden on me at all times. This is a great knife. This one's a little more easier to conceal than the uh, felony stop. The felony stop's a good one for outside the waistband. If you put it behind your mag pouch or around your uh, radio, it hide it a little easier and be a little more accessible to get to. This one's perfect for in the waistband carry. Um, you can move this uh, little clip around. It's a very good clip. You can put your belt loop through there or just pop this up and get it on there a little easier, however you wish. You can move it to all different uh, configurations around the back, uh, a little more canted on the inside of your pants if you like that. Whatever floats your boat, whatever you like, this is what it's for. Um, this is a great, great knife. I got it from Amazon for like 82 bucks, I wanna say. And this is one of my favorite knives. They put this really, really nice coating. I can't remember what the coating is, but it's very good steel. Holds a very nice sharp edge. It's a very sharp knife. Uh, I like this one. I really was going to get this one or the Blue Otter. Uh, the Blue Otter is a little smaller, a little thinner it looks like. And the blade, uh, the handle is not as big. I wanted a little more uh, easier grip to grab onto. And this one, it was the right choice because this thing is beautiful. Nothing wrong with the Blue Otter. Uh, but I want to do a good one for a review and have a good carry knife. And this one is, this one fits that, uh, criteria very well. Um, it does have a heavier forehand on the blade, which is nice. So if you had to use this for a self-defense situation, um, this would, I'd say this would be a very ideal knife. The blade's not uh, extremely long. It's like right around three inches and under, I want to say. Can't remember the exact blade, sorry, bad content creator. But um, it's got these beautiful micarta scale uh, grip. Little grips you can change out if you can find another company or maybe Topps Knives sells extra ones. I don't know if they do, but these feel beautiful in the hand. Like it's so comfortable, I'm telling you. Got this jimping up here, put your thumb on. Um, has some more tactical uses you can use. Um, my my use would be for stabbing or opening a box if it came down to it and I had to defend myself against an animal or a person coming at me trying to take my gun or attack me. Uh, this will be a very good option. Um, a lot of people don't talk about that in their reviews on knives. They I guess they get a little worried about saying what they'd use it for. We don't give a shit on this channel. We're very honest and this is what this would be used for. If a dog's attacking me, you know, tearing me up, bite, biting my arm open, uh, I can't get, I don't have a gun on me, this is the next best option I'm gonna use because it will stop what you're going after. Um, I almost about cut my thumb open. They hand sharpen every knife they sell. Um, very sharp. Uh, I'm telling you, don't mess around with it. If, uh, if you're screwing around, you will stab the shit out of yourself and it will not feel good. So I uh, take from experience about cut my thumb, my thumb to the bone with this when I was messing with it. Very sharp knife. Uh, I wasn't even being stupid with it. I was just playing around and made a little mistake. Um, gotta love that. Made in the USA. Uh, even though Joe Biden is ruining all that for us, 
Uh, Top Knife is still there to sell a very good quality knife. Beautiful knife, man. I'm telling you, I love these knives. Um, the Micara scales are so comfortable, very easy uh, to use, uh, very easy to clean, you know, user friendly. Uh, you, I can put the, I let a lot of my friends uh, feel this knife out, try it out, and they, they love this knife. Got some friends who are wanting to buy one. Um, I watched a video from Topps Knives not long ago. Uh, it might have been almost like eight, nine months ago, could be, can't remember exactly. They were saying how that they're not uh, losing business or anything. They're saying things are bumping as always, but they're just having problems getting materials, which very understandable. The world's in a crazy spot right now. Uh, it's not looking good for um, Ukraine, the US, really anybody at this point, Russia. So yeah, I get it. It's gonna be hard for them to get uh, good quality materials. Uh, if they were like a junk Chinese company, they could get the cheapest steel all day. But this quality is, it's out of this world, it really is. And the coating they put on this, I wish I remember the name of it, the coating is awesome. I love the coating they put on these, it's very rugged. I have it on my uh, Tops Felony Stop also. But like I said, this is a great EDC knife. Uh, if you need to do some, like wood jimping, things like that, it'd be good use for that too. But I, I look at the market for this to be more self-defense wise. Uh, it's just a, it's a good stab or it's very comfortable. Um, very sharp. It'll do what you need it to. So, uh, personal experience, like I said, I almost cut down to my thumb on my, cut down to the bone of my thumb with this thing. It's very sharp. So, uh, like I was saying before I got on a tangent, yeah, they sharpen these every knife they sell. Uh, I want to buy a ton more of Topps knives in my lifetime. A hundred percent. They have a good, they stand for a good backing for, you know, made in the USA. Uh, good company, good people. They're always comment on all my videos I do. Uh, very nice. So uh, thank you guys so much for commenting on my stuff. It's really cool seeing companies actually respond and uh, things like that. I've talked to a lot of companies and most of them won't even give me the time of day or anything. So it's good to see that, you know, company actually cares. So love that. And here's your sheath. I see a lot of people get different sheaths made. Uh, I like these little Kydex sheaths. I have no problem with it. Very comfortable, very easy to conceal, like I said. Uh, I usually carry this right behind my pistol. Well, I appendix carry now more often than three o'clock four position. So uh, before I put it right to the back, my uh, three o'clock right around my pistol and carry it very comfortably. So no complaints, uh, great knife. Highly recommend it. You guys check out topsknives.com. Good people, We've got good quality stuff. Check them out. Um, tell them JT sent you. Uh, appreciate it, guys. Have a great day. Thank you so much.